Hello everyone and welcome back as always. I wanted to send a shout out to the Rock Cliff and Alex Chen who suggested in the comments that I analyze Kalia Lamore. Wow, I really enjoyed learning about her and becoming familiar with her gymnastics. I was going to do a video on her a bit later, but after watching her gymnastics and reading her story a little bit, I decided to do it now. Just a couple of interesting facts about Kelia. She was born in France. Her mom is French and her dad is Algerian. To make a long story short, the French Gymnastics Federation seemed to want more control over the choices Kelia made regarding her gymnastics career. Kelia did not want that, so she opted to compete for Algeria. She's only 16, but she has a skill named after her on the bars, does one of the most beautiful sequences on bars, and is the first Nigerian gymnast to ever final and medal in a world championships. It was a silver on the bars. However, she is viewed by many as the best bar worker in the world. I'll be doing some side-by-side -side comparisons of both Suni and Kelia, as they both perform incredibly unique, difficult, and flowing sequences that frankly are just cool to watch. In the recent World Championships, her flexed feet were less noticeable, so she's obviously working on it. It seems she's watching the small details and improving with every competition I've seen her in. This is essentially seven different skills in a wonderfully smooth and flowing connection. She just keeps going. Let's do a quick side-by-side -side of Suni and Kalia. Even though Kalia puts her feet through her hands, she actually has a later entry than Suni. They both have excellent throw and execution in the release into the reverse hex. It seems they both instinctively flex their feet a bit as they fly backwards over the bar, but they are both very straight and very clear of the bar. They also share very similar catch angles. Although Suni is twisting in her backflip between the bars, they share similar angles of catching the low bar. It's so elegant how they fly back to the high bar, with Kalia catching slightly higher than Suni. Moving to their next similar sequence, this time it's Kalia who's twisting. She has a slight leg separation, but they both catch the low bar at a very similar angle. They have very similar reverse heck throw positions, and they also have a similar leg separation. <laughs> wow, it looks like a mirror as this continues on. Very similar handstand angles here. Suni does a giant full, and Kalia does a stalter full. Kaylee ends up slightly more vertical than Suni. Just really beautiful gymnastics to watch. Let's take a much closer look at Kaylee's routine now. Kip cast to handstand. Now this was the only handstand in a routine that was not completely vertical. That tells you how high the quality of the rest of the routine is going to be. Kalia uses a large shoulder angle, arch snap technique to generate power through the bottom of her inside stalter swing. Look at the bend of the bar and how far her feet are away from the bar. Now she'll take all that energy and throw her toes out from behind the bar strongly into an arch position while throwing the bar behind her to cause the counter rotation she needs to re-grab the bar. All of these things must happen at the correct time to complete the skill successfully. This is her own skill and is called the Namor. Tsuni does a skill called the Nebiva where she places her toes on the bar. Namor stoops her toes past the bar into an inside stalter position. This is the difference in how they both do this very similar skill, and it's why they are named differently. That's a beautiful position as she flies back over the bar. I think it's just instinctive for her to flex her feet a bit as she flies backward over the bar. In the recent World Championships, I could see that she corrected this and kept the toes pointed all throughout this skill. She catches a bit close, but remember, she's moving away from the bar as she flies backward over the bar, and that also gives her momentum to swing into the next skill, which is a layout backflip between the bars and catch the low bar. She's got great height and extension in the middle of the skill, and she does a great job of transferring all that energy from the height into a powerful soul circle as she gets her toes on the bar. Look how open her shoulder angle is. This power, mixed with the strong throw of the bars behind her and perfect timing, launches her perfectly back to the high bar. What beautiful positions. She doesn't have a very large backswing here, so she generates power using, again, her broken shoulder angle arch snap technique. It works very well to launch her into her next skill, which is a stalter full pirouette. You can see she's right on top of this move in a vertical handstand as her momentum carries her over the bar. Now she goes straight into her signature entry to perform her stalter reverse heck with a half twist. It's a beautiful position as she throws her feet down at the same time she throws the bar behind her to cause her counter rotation. Look at that. She is horizontal to the floor and completes her twist above 45 degrees. Now this is interesting. You could say that she should have her legs back together by this time, but you could also say this is part of the trick. I believe the straddle helps her to stay on the correct axis to stay squared off with the bar so it may be considered part of the sequence. Let me know what you think in the comments. She still catches around 45 degrees, and with her normal late entry, this gives her plenty of time to get her feet on the bar. She's very turned over here, so her throw and reverse heck action take her right back to the high bar. In this slightly awkward position, she actually maintains very good form and seems instinctively aware of where the low bar is as she grabs the high bar. She shows no fatigue at the end of her routine as she casts into a vertical handstand. Here's her late entry inward stalter to a blind change. She hits the handstand pre-vertical, and her momentum carries her over the bar in her pirouette to a perfect vertical handstand. 
handstand. Now she prepares for her double layout dismount. Again, when you slow video down, it's hard to see where the momentum is. Here, it looks like her feet will fly straight away from the bar, but they actually go straight up, giving her the height she needs to complete her dismount solidly. Wow, just fantastic work on bars. I want to point out a few more things on what I consider one of her more exceptionally performed sequences. She seems to pay more attention to detail with every competition I watch her in. Many times when I pause the video, I'm left staring at an iconic gymnastics position. Look at the lift or the pop off the bars here. Just to re-grab the bar and perform another virtuous pop or lift as she flies so elegantly between the bars. Her staller reverse hect has a second lift as she throws the bars behind her. And then again with such attractive rhythm swinging between the high bar and the low bar. Great stuff. As my son would say, that's super satisfying to watch. Thanks again for the suggestion. I really enjoyed analyzing this routine. Again, we're a small but passionate channel. Feel free to like and subscribe to this channel. And thanks again for watching. All my best and see you next time.